and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm reviewing a lineup update, going over kind of what we got on the team. We picked up quite a few players. You guys saw a little sneak peek of the top three there. Now, guys, I have a lot of my binders still. I, 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 like, you, I have more coins than you guys think I actually have most of the time, which I don't usually say that, but I have a lot of coins in the binder. I literally just don't sell things, and I don't know why. It's very stupid to me, but I'm going to be selling things soon and really upgrading the team in the near future so the teams can keep getting a lot better i want to keep you guys up to date with the team kind of like my weekly thinking i feel like this video does more than just show you guys my lineup i feel like it gives you guys a thought process behind how i build teams or how i build my team and a little tips and tricks of kind of how i like to build teams so it helps you guys out especially like if i talk to you guys about why i picked a certain quarterback and then you guys have had the same confusion of should you take this quarterback i feel like that kind of helps but before we get into the video guys make sure you're going below hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell boys come join the family Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Who should I add? Who should I not add? Vice versa. Now, let's head on over to the lineup and check out all the players. All right, so our quarterback, guys, we have two Patrick Mahomes. Now, the reason I have two is for stamina reasons. I like to use the first Patrick Mahomes for weekend league, and I like to use the other Patrick Mahomes for seasons. I don't like to use them both for the same thing because then they'll get ultra tired, and I want to keep them nice and fresh for the season. So this one's the one that plays my weekend league because that's why I have the abilities on them. This one's the one that plays the regular one. I can't even say this is a straight face. Reality, I want to give away Patrick Mahomes. He's now Nat, so I now have two Nat Patrick Mahomes. I probably just gonna have a quick sell on one at some point because I can't do anything else with it. Take the training. See what I or coin. I have coin value on him and training on the other one. I'll see what I end up doing with that. But let's head over to halfback, guys. The reason I have Mahomes because everyone else is too expensive. Best quarterback by far. Halfback, I have Kamara, Barry Sanders, Bo Jackson, Saquon Barkley. Now, my real running back is Saquon Barkley, but my power pass currently not on uh where is my power? Oh, it's on Deion Sanders. So I have to buy a Saquon Barkley. I'll do that pretty soon. My running backs are going to be Saquon and Kamara. That's kind of how I plan to run my running backs. Then coming over to fullback, guys. I got an upgrade. I've had Corey Schlesinger at the fullback slot since September when I played that house rules. I have to make an upgrade on him pretty soon because he's looking pretty ass at this point. Tyree Kill, Torrey Holt, Calvin, Amari Cooper. Those are probably my wide receivers for the rest of the year. I really don't see myself upgrading Calvin or Torrey Holt. Maybe Tyree Kill will get the boot at some point. But I really like Tyreek Hill, so I really don't know if I end up doing that. Now, tight end is a position I really want to upgrade pretty soon. I want to pick up George Kittle as well as whatever new Ultimate Legend tight ends ends up coming out. Or Vernon Davis. I would love a brand new Vernon Davis. I always love having Vernon Davis. It's like, it's like a mad tradition. Every year, I buy the NFL Combine Vernon Davis. I do it every year. So hopefully, we get the option to. And hopefully, they drop one because I'm still waiting on one. Left tackle, Walter Jones. End game left tackle. Not going to have to touch him at all. No problem with him there. Left guard, we gotta make an upgrade. Bruce Matthews, I've had it, I've had this guy since like the first month of Madden. And it's getting kind of ridiculous at this point. Let's see if this shows date acquired on this thing. I got this thing August 17th. Yeah. That's all you guys gotta know about that card. Travis Frederick, gotta upgrade him as well. Had him since October, since Halloween. It's been quite a while since I've touched my O-line. I just never see the value in upgrading them. Like obviously O-line's the most important part of your team sometimes. But the issue is with Madden, like, I never see the one I like, and by the time I do, and I don't like powering up linemen, because they really don't get cards that often, so, like, if you power them up, some of them, you might not see another upgrade for them for a while, and you might not like the other upgrade. Zach Martin, end game for me, have no problem keeping him, got a 99 stat right there, power him up, probably just fine. And then at right tackle, we gotta make an upgrade. This Lane Johnson, got him during the Blitz promo, as you guys can see. I picked him up around December, I believe, but kind of ass, not really a fan. Oh, uh, he wasn't really great back then, not great now, gotta get rid of him. Michael Strahan comes in at my first left end spot, 95 overall. Now, I love Michael Strahan. I honestly kind of just want to, if I can get an ultimate legend of him, I'll power him up all the way and be done with him. That's kind of what I want to do. I'm a Giants fan, so might as well keep it in-house there. Kind of just waiting on that, though, because I can get away from getting an ultimate legend. And now, if he does get an ultimate legend, it'll probably be a 98 at the rate we're going at, because we should be entering 97 to 98s pretty soon. Right now, I believe we're just 96, 97s. I think pretty soon we'll start getting some 98s, and then hopefully 99s. 99 ultimate legends will probably start coming around April is my guess i don't think until the, uh, probably like mid-april for now we're probably gonna only see 98s this month and then 99s in april probably what I, that's what i expect at least aaron donald's end game not touching him he's good to go for the rest of the year good athleticism of 99 stat right there great block shit great finesse move great play record great strength really don't need to upgrade him unless another aaron donald comes out we do have the free agency promo but a lot they, the really only way we'll get a lot of current day players anymore is if the easter promo a golden ticket or the free agency promo we're not. We're, I don't imagine a lot of these uh, amazing players are gonna be free agents, anyways. 
Defensive tackle, we got Geno Atkins at Oliver. At Oliver's ass. I don't know why I still have him. Geno Atkins was free. But have him for the rest of the year, no matter what. Definitely want to pick up like Warren Sapper, an Ultimate Legend, or a Mean Joe Green. Just gotta wait on that, of course. Well, that's how I'm back, you guys. I've had Von Miller since August 17th. He's got to go. He's got to go. I don't know what to do with him, though. I'm waiting for a new left outside linebacker that I could use. Maybe the combine promo could bless me with someone. I really don't know at this point. It's getting kind of ridiculous that I still have him here. I know. I know. What am I doing? Let's get over to middle linebacker. Middle linebacker is a position that I have to upgrade a little bit, too. I got Shazier. Now, I'm thinking for my next one, I'm either going to take Ray Lewis or wait for another middle linebacker. What would be nice is a combine middle linebacker, like someone's like a Luke Keekler, someone with like a 93 speed, 94 speed, which they won't give Keekley, so maybe not Keekley. But definitely want to get them to upgrade Bush with because that's Bush's last card that we get him for the year. The rookie premiere will not go up after February, so that is it for him. Renaissance backer, Lawrence Taylor's endgame. Going to hold on to him for the rest of the year. All I'm going to need from now on out is going to be his Ultimate Legend card, which should probably be a 98 as well. And cue the pink light. There we go. Almost forgot about that. Now, Lawrence Taylor, like I said, endgame every year. I don't ever have to think about him. Now, cornerbacks, this is where it gets good. Deion Sanders, Denzel Ward, Night Train Lane, Mel Blunt. W what's it looking like here? Deion Sanders, end game. Done for the year. Almost all 99 stats. Done. Second quarterback, Night Train Lane. Done for the year. Gonna put on his, um, I'm gonna put his Steam Diamond 2 Master Set part into this. That's gonna be it for the year. And then for my third one, Denzel Ward. That's it. 99 speed, 99 man, 99 pre press pretty much. Good to go for me. And then Mel Blunt is a solid fourth backup option. Pretty decent. Maybe if we get some other card, I'll power him up. Who knows? But in my opinion, guys, this is a solid cornerback tree. You can you could end with Night Train Lane, Dion, and Denzel Ward. Or if you want, you can get a Champ Bailey when he does get his Ultimate Legend card because that card's going to be pretty glitchy. Champ Bailey's going to be like a Denzel Ward, Deion Sanders type build, Night Train Lane. Night Train Lane, the only difference is he gets that hit power and that block shedding that's a big deal in the run game that not any other cornerbacks ever get, which is kind of why I love him so much in terms of Madden. Now, free safety, Sean Taylor, guys, he's end game. I don't care what anyone says. 96 speed, 96 excel, 6'2". 95 zone, 96 hit powers, end game. And if he gets an ultimate legend card, all the better. His ultimate legend card will have 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 zone, 99 hit power, probably 99 pursuit, close to 99 play rec. It'll be over. Now the card will be insane. So if he gets one, I'll take it. If he does not get one, I'm content with where I am. Strong safety, Troy Palomalu, 98 overall. One of the best defensive cards I've ever used in Madden. Power him up and chem him up, end game right there. Amazing zone, amazing speed, amazing excel, amazing play rec, amazing hit power. Great man. Not much else to say. You guys always want to see my kicker for some reason. I don't know why. Justin Tucker, got to get rid of him. Want to pick up one of the 97 kick power kickers, or I believe we have one, right? So I can finally hit some field goals. And then Treyway, um, I think I've had him since the first day of Madden. Yeah, I've had him since July. Says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, guys, we got to make some upgrades here. At some point, we definitely got to get around to that part of the team. We have really lacked determination to get that team up. Now, let's check out our lineup as a whole. Show you guys kind of who I like to have my X-Factors on. Now, for this team specifically, the way I have it built, X-Factors got to go on quarterback. Running back wide receiver. I mean, that's pretty much most teams. Now, what I've been thinking about is taking my um, abilities off Calvin and then making abilities on two running backs. I was thinking about it in Alvin Kamara and Saquon on the backfield. I can throw. I can do routes with Kamara. I can do routes with Saquon. I can get really deadly with a double, a double route running backs. I mean, I think it could be really good. I'm thinking about it. Other than that, though, I'm probably going to either do one quarterback, two running backs, or one quarterback, one running back, one wide receiver. And this is how the team looks. Once I upgrade that O-line, the team's going to look really deadly. And then coming to defense on here as well, I got to upgrade my linebacking core. It's been my issue for quite a while. If I can get my middle linebacker better, a new Taylor and a new left outside linebacker, the team will look pretty pretty solid, to be honest with you guys. And as far as abilities, I always like having a pass rusher or two. So I have Lawrence Taylor and Aaron Donald. Now, I've been rotating between Troy Palomalu, Denzel Ward, and Deion Sanders. I'll probably end up using Deion or Troy. But for now, I think I got it on Denzel because of the gameplay, but I'm going to probably put it back on Troy. And the special teams, you know, not much here as, as well. So guys, that's pretty much it for the... The majority of this lineup update that pretty much covered it all hopefully you guys do enjoy this video i got it guys man slowing down a little bit less to do i try to make it i try to make it entertaining i'll try to start doing more gameplay some more series guys i have a series for you guys in the works don't worry about that and well i'll give you guys a little tip it's gonna probably be with xerxes well it will be with xerxes we have a pretty cool mud idea that came up we cooked it up in the lab hopefully we can get a video or at least some trial runs of it and maybe show you guys some clips on twitter before we end up releasing it should be super cool but for now, guys, going to continue with the information and tips as things get a little bit drier. Going to stick to more of the entertaining side into Madden 21. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Come join the family. I'm out, guys. Make sure to check out today's 1030 video, which should be 
the Common Man Part 2 promo. That's what it. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.